Now let's look at how you edit the media here. So I have a couple different pieces of media here. I have photo, I have video, and I have audio, even an overlay. Um, so I'm going to tap on my photo in my timeline. I get some options. First, I'm gonna use two fingers to kind of zoom in a little bit. Okay, now, here, when I tap, I get the actions, and I get titles. With titles, I can click on that, and I can put in an actual title. I'm calling this, very creative, the city, okay? So now when I go through this, it naturally goes and labels it the city. Great, I can change that as well. I can change the filter. So if I want a different kind of feel for it, I can. Also, if I'm tapped on the picture itself, I can. you can see the Ken Burns effect is enabled. What that means is it's going to give my picture a motion. Almost looks like a video in this case, like kind of like a, a helicopter flying over the landscape or a drone. Um, if I don't like that, let's say I'm putting slides in and I want to annotate over my slides. Um, really, I could turn that off or I can edit it. So right now it's positioned to start. So if I zoom in here, this is where it's gonna start. If I tap the end arrow, I can say that I want it to end over here. Now, it'll start and end where I told it to, which is a, a really nice feature if you're trying to focus in on one object in that picture, you can kind of zoom into that picture. With, with your video, you have a little bit more. You have actions. So you can split it or duplicate it. If I go to the middle here and tap, I can actually split. Why would I do that? Well, if I put in a title here and I tap there, I'm just gonna call oh, just gonna call this people. Okay. If I don't split it, that word people is going to be there the whole time. But if I split it, it goes away. Notice how there was no transition. This button right here, when you have that line, means no transition. It's seamless. You're not going to notice it, which is really nice. So when you can time out your titles and you can figure, oh, I don't want my title there um, at all. After this point, I can split it there and then there's no title. You can also change the speed. If I want it to go really slow, like slow-mo people walking, I can also go really fast, kind of looking like a time lapse. And then it slows down there. I can put filters on my videos as well. And then I can change my transition. You would change the time. See how it kind of nicely fades in there. These are all great features. Now, in these video files, I have no sound, so my volume is kind of blacked out. But if I had sound there, I could change my volume going up and down. Why is that important? Well, that's really important when we're talking about our audio down here. So we have the option to put it in the foreground or the background by clicking on that. Okay now background um, this will enable us to talk over something I didn't talk about in the first video we can actually voice over the whole thing by using this button right here and it's ready to record all I do is press record three three two one and now I am recording my audio over top of this so the audio that I am speaking is going right into my iMovie I don't need to start off in GarageBand or anything like that just press stop and I'm going to accept it so now I have audio there. So that's where I can go in and I can change my audio. It's a little quiet, so I want to make it louder and still have my music in the background. Um, the music will naturally fade down when there's somebody talking. Um, so that's how you edit your audio. And again, you can change the speed of your audio. You can split it and duplicate it if you need to make it longer. 
So that is how you edit some of the media inside iMovie.